How's it going everybody? Sport the Three here and today we have some awesome awesome collectibles. Check it out. So the fine people over at Symbiote Studios sent me some awesome awesome collectibles so I can share them with you guys. We're gonna have a look at it. So this is what they sent me. They sent me a couple little I'm assuming mystery box of some kind. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Dragonborn little minifigure. I'm not sure what's in there. Or this one here. I don't know if these are blind boxes or what. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Astrid. So I have to be honest with you, I don't know a whole lot about Skyrim, if anything at all, but these things look really cool. I do know, in fact, what awesome toys are, and I believe this is what we have. Fighter's Guild Journeyman in Akaveri Armor. Hopefully I pronounced that correct. Awesome packaging. And on the back it reads the Elder Scrolls Online Fighter's Guild Journeyman and includes Pony Gar figure code for in-game Quorma Scribe Pet. Scrib Pet. Okay, so we'll get to that one. And look at this beast of a figure. Look at this. This thing is huge. The Nord. Wow, great window packaging, great for display. Ebonheart packed, and on the back we have the Elder Scrolls Online, The Nord. And then if you want to read that, go ahead and pause it. It's a little read for you. ElderScrollsOnline.com, Wolfhound. Code for in-game pet included inside. This is cool. Beth's, Bethesda? Bethesda? <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Zenimax, this is really cool stuff. So I'm butchering every name on the package. And then this one looks really, really awesome. Check that out. Warframe Rhino Collector Statue. Look at this guy, huh? Wow. This is going to be fun to take a look at. Rhino Collector Statue Symbiote Studios. Digital Extremes. This is awesome stuff. All right. Let's get to playing. All right. So first we're going to look at this little dude. Under here I noticed it reads the Elder Scrolls V Dragonborn preview figure. So whatever we got in here is... A preview type figure. I'm not sure what we got. Okay, so it looks like we have some blind packaging. Okay. And I'm going to do my handy dandy little cutter. Let me reach back here and grab it. Alright. This is fun. I love doing this stuff. Okay. What do we got here? Carefully pull him out. And we got a couple of accessories in here. Sweet. Okay, so we're done with that. So we got some accessories, check it out. So they're made of rubber, it feels like. So we have a little sword and a little axe. That's kind of neat. Good detail, I like it. We'll set that right here. And have a look at this little dude. Look at this. Wow. That's cool, look at the detail on this. This is fantastic. You can see he's got the armor going on. Very good paint apps on this. This is fantastic, and he's got the cool... Oh, this is rubbery, so he's got the cool little helmet going on. Shows a little bit of battle damage right there. Oh, this is neat. Sweet. Slides right on. Oh, this is cool. And we can take his little accessories here, and we'll place them in his, his little hands so we get the axe there. Oops. And his little sword right through here. And there we go. Look at that. Cool. So he can rotate his head a little bit, his arms move up and down. Wow, this is going to make for a great display piece. Okay, so now we're going to open up the Astrid box here and see what's happening here. Oh, another blind bag. Okay. And what else does it read on here? Any kind of preview, anything like that? Nope. Okay. Cuts off the side. And slice this open. Let's see what we get. Any accessories or anything? Alright, so what do we have here? So it looks like some kind of ninja assassin. This is excellent. Look at this. Oh, I think I like this one maybe just a little bit better. Wow. So what is it? About uh, two and a half inches tall? So it's kind of your standard for your little mini mini figures. This is excellent. See the arms? The arms do not move unless they're painted in place. Nope. And the head does not move. So it's just basically a solid vinyl type figure. Very nice. And next we have the Fighter's Guild Journeyman in Akaveri Armor. So let's crack this guy open. This one looks really neat. So inside, oh, what do we got here? So we have the Elder Scrolls Online Pet Redemption Instructions. So whoever gets that code first, you win. And I don't even know if that's still a working code. Don't know. And inside here, we got some nice packaging. And here we go. Look at this little guy. This is great. This guy's little little buddy there. 
couple of accessories. We got a bow and a dagger. See, we'll place these right in his hands right now. So we got the dagger, this cool looking bow, and there we go. Kind of, we'll have him hang this down like so. Look at this. Did the helmet come off? Look at that. So you can move the arms. And what is this little dude here? What is that? I don't know, but it looks cool. Can you move his legs? Nope, looks like everything's non-movable, but... Wow, you know what? The, the paint apps on these are very solid. There's really, there's no, there's no issues whatsoever. This is great. He's <laughs> a cute little dude. All right, so pull the helmet right off. Look at that. Now he looks like a ninja. Aww. Oh, this is good stuff. So it's a soft plastic little mini helmet. Rotate the head. Pretty solid. I'm liking this. You look at the cool looking armor he's got on his back there. This is great. Wow. A little fuzz there. This is pretty heavy. It's a very solid little toy. We'll place this back on. And look at that. Yeah, I think I like him better with the helmet. This is cool. And I knocked the sword out of his hand. Yeah, the detail they put into this is fantastic. Look at, you see the detail right in there? That's great. Oh, I love this thing. So there you go. <laughs> and next we have the Nord. Look at this. This is cool. All right, let's see if we can get this one open here. And there's a little card on top. Here's the Elder Scrolls card. So there is another code. First come, first serve. There you go. And let's slide him out of here. Great packaging. I love good packaging. And let's see. There's the part. And he comes with a couple of accessories too. A sword, a battle axe. And... Let's see what we got going on here. So you can remove this helmet. Got some plastic here to protect the paint apps from scratching, which is which is awesome, by the way. So good job on that one. So let's have a look at his helmet. Look at this. So you got a broken tusk right there, which looks kind of realistic. I like that. Some battle damage going on. This is nice. It's not very uh, durable. It's kind of hard, but there's a little bit flex to it. So that's good. That's good. I like that. Like spikes here. This is, uh, wow, I am so impressed with these toys. And here's the dude. He's got his really cool mustache and beard going on there. This is neat. And here's some accessories. So we have a sword, which is nice. Got some really good detail in there. The axe, and then here is the sword. We'll put that in his hand. Let's see how hard that is to get in there. Oops, we'll try the axe first. Just slide that in there. It's a little tight, but we can get it. I don't, I'm taking my time. It's probably, I'm making it harder than it probably is, but I'm not I'm not trying to force it because I don't want to break it. There we go, a little bit further in there. Sweet. And then this one here, we'll try this. And, come on, get in now. I don't want to force it. There we go. Work it in there a little bit. See what I'm doing? Okay. Sweet. Look at this. Oh, this guy is all decked out. And he's huge. Here's a size comparison. We'll we'll compare him with the little ninja chick. Look at this. Yeah, this one's probably closer to three and a half, maybe four inches tall. This is excellent. Well constructed. Great design. Great paint apps. These are a complete win. And here is Rhino from Warframe. This guy, I gotta tell you, this is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. Wow. So it comes unassembled. You have to piece it together a little bit. So you have his weapon here, which we will go ahead and I'm gonna pop this out, give you a look at it. Very easy to do. Actually, we know what, and it's really heavy. So you wanna take your time with it. And if you're taking it apart, say you're gonna put it back in the packaging and we'll give you a closer look at everything here. See, I'm taking my time, and there we go. Okay, so we'll give you a close-up of this guy. So here's the Rhino up close. So you can see this is uh, well detailed, super, super quality. So you have this gun accessory, which pegs right into his back. There's a, 
a fitted slot right there which you slide right in look at the paint apps on that how awesome it looks so realistic so again you would just take this it's like so and slide it in there and there it stays very cool right look at this midsection here i like that color metallic blue of some cor some kind that's a great looking color and then you have this weapon here which actually comes out too and slides right back on it's a little peg right there a little metal pin actually so this is uh this is fantastic the detail in this is really good and underneath here you can see the peg that goes into the base slides right in into the fitted part right there very nice so we'll set him here for a second and we'll have a look at the base and his battle hammer i'm not even sure what to make of this it just looks awesome that is all it is this cool sweet so then that would peg right here for the statue just like that and then it's fitted this little knob at the end here is fitted into his palm and then this looks like some kind of busted up dead robot of some sorts this is really neat very cool stuff as you can see the, like the eyeballs there and the fingers hanging over and check this out underneath this is a very limited edition of was that 4957 out of 5000 very nice it's so heavy it's so solid very well put together so we'll go ahead and reassemble this dude just like this and we'll take him oops we'll place him back on here just like so I'm gonna take my time a little bit make sure we get everything lined up and there's that and we'll take this weapon here Let's see where is the pin again okay so there's the pin hole and make sure we take our time with it and wiggle that on there and we can lift him up a little slide that in fits right in his hand and then again we'll put this back right back here again and make sure we get it right sweet this is fantastic so it looks like on the base he stands oh i would say approximately eight and a half inches tall maybe nine inches you get a little measuring tape right here and we'll let you know for sure so we'll measure actually from the base to the top of the gun so it's a scooch over eight inches this is going to make for a great display in my collection thank you so much for sending it to me symbiote studios so there you have it everybody awesome awesome stuff right oh i know you guys dig it i absolutely love this stuff thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much for sending me these fine review samples i can't say enough about this the quality of the statue is is top notch the paint apps are pristine on all this stuff these little figures are so cool oh man just well done there you go everybody thanks for watching See you next time.